Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly edit the PowerPoint infographics that I give you in some of my PLR packages. This one that I'm showing you here is from one of my recent ones called Power Networking for Results. And we do some of these in PowerPoint because it does make it easy to edit, especially for people like me who don't know how to use Photoshop or just don't want to take the time to fiddle with it. So here I've got the slide open. It is a slide that is an infographic and the reason we can do that make it an infographic is you just create a longer slide and you can adjust this yourself if you want to add more content by going up to the top clicking on design and then click on page setup and you'll see there's a custom size right now this one is nine inches wide by seventeen and a half high so you could adjust that as well especially if you're creating your own so I'm going to cancel that and then you can see that it's very easy to change fonts and colors of fonts because each part is an element like in any PowerPoint slide. So I'm going to highlight this top here and show you that you can change the color by going to home and then clicking on font color. So I'm going to click the down arrow. You'll see there's a whole choice like in any PowerPoint. You can click on more colors and pick some other random one that maybe you like like that click OK and you'll see it changes and then you can do that anywhere else on the slide you can move the images around you could delete them and insert something else you can make them smaller bigger you'll see if you can see there are dotted lines that show up to show whether you're lined up or not so all throughout here you can move this around you could change the style of font if you want by just highlighting it going up to the top and picking any fun crazy font just make sure it's something that's actually readable by people so for instance there's a nice font but you actually can't read it very easily so I don't like it I'm gonna undo that and that should pretty much show you most of it when you come to the bottom you'll see it says brought to you by you want, you're going to want to insert your URL or your logo so if you just want to put your URL in you go up to the top you click on insert go over to text box and come down and draw a text box and then type in your URL I'm going to put in business content plr.com and then play with it just click the center make it say bigger I'm gonna highlight it go back up you can click this big a makes it bigger whereas the other one will make it smaller I can change the font again make it something big move it around so it's centered change the color whatever suits your fancy and if you want to put your logo in I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna move this over so there's room for my logo and let's see all you have to do is go to insert picture and you're gonna find your logo I have lots of different sizes transparent is always best because then you it'll take on the color of the background uh, where to it go it's up here it'll always insert it in the middle so I'm gonna resize that and maybe put that in the bottom right here and then this looks a little tiny here so I'm gonna make that bigger and put a little colon so you can just play with that play with the sizing and the placement and the styles however you want but that's how you would put your logo in and obviously you can play with this some more you could cut, change the background color of the whole slide as well just play around with it there's all sorts of fun things you can do like background styles here that may or may not change it but if you play around you'll see that it's just like PowerPoint and you'll have fun with it and not have to know how to use Photoshop.